Hello children. I hope you saw the first part of the chapter third. Now here I am with the second part of chapter three. The name of the chapter was birds, and we were learning about birds. In the first part, you have already learned that how many types of beaks a bird has and how many types of feet do they have. Now, in this part, we will learn about the feathers of birds and the food they eat, where do they live, about their nests and type of nests. We will learn about the bird bath and how to take care of our pets. So children, here we start. Have a look and listen to it properly. Start children. In this part, we will learn about the feathers and the types of nests. First, let us see about the feathers of birds. Children, we all know that the body of birds is covered with feathers. Feathers of birds are of three types. They are as following. First type is down feathers. These feathers are found near the bird's skin. They are soft and fluffy. They keep the body warm. A newborn baby bird has a lot of down feathers. A newborn baby bird is also called as nestling. They have lots of down feathers. Next type of feather is body feather. These feathers are present over the down feathers. They cover the whole body and give shape to the whole body. Children, body feathers are present upon the down feathers and they cover the whole body of the bird and the shape of the body of the bird is given by this feather. Remember this. The third type of feather is flight feather. These feathers are found on the wings and tail of the bird. They are long and flat. They help the birds to fly and change direction. You can see in the picture how these feathers look like. First one is the flight feather, second one is the body feather and the last one is the down feather. Now children we will know how do birds fly. We all have seen the birds flying high in the sky. Have you ever wondered how do the birds fly and why can't we fly? Children, the birds have hollow bones which make their body light in weight. The wings of birds are attached to their body with strong muscles. The wings of birds are attached to the chest muscles of the birds and they are very strong muscles. These muscles help the birds to move their wings. Children, you all know the, that birds have wings which help them to fly. A bird flaps 
its wings upwards and downwards during flying. The upward movement of wings is called upstroke and the downward movement is called downstroke. The tail helps the birds to change the direction of the flight. Some birds cannot fly. They are called flightless or running birds. Children, do you know why can't they fly? They cannot fly because their body weight is too much. Their wings are smaller in size and their wings cannot take the load of their body weight. So these birds cannot fly. For example, emu, ostrich, penguin. They are the flightless birds. Some birds fly for short distances. They cannot fly very high like peacocks and hens. Have you ever seen them flying? They fly but they fly up to a very short distance. They can't fly high up like other birds. Birds such as pigeons and parrots and sparrows and manas, they fly over long distances. Here are some pictures given. You can see picture number 1, 2, 3. The wings are moved down and forward, lifting the body in the air. This movement is termed as downstroke. And the picture number 4, 5, 6 and 7. In these pictures, you can see the wings are lifted upwards in preparation for another downstroke. This movement is termed upstroke. Now children, we will talk about the foot habits of the birds. As we all know that there are different types of birds, they have different types of beaks, they have different types of feet. So, they have, in the same manner, they have different types of foot habits also. Birds eat different types of food. They eat insects, seeds, grains, nuts, etc. Some birds like hummingbirds and sunbirds, they suck nectar of flowers. They have long pointed beak through which they suck the nectar of flowers. Few birds like eagles and vultures they eat the flesh of other animals. Children, you remember the first part of the video. We learned that eagles and vultures have hooked beaks so that they can tear the flesh of other animals and eat them. So, they eat the flesh of other animals. Penguins, kingfishers and herons they eat fish. They are water birds and they love eating fish. Children, you should know that birds do not have teeth. How do they eat the food then? They break and crush food into small pieces with the help of their beaks.
Now we will talk about the nests of birds. What is a nest? The home of a bird is called a nest. A bird's home is called a nest. Birds build their nest in safe places where enemies cannot reach. Who are the enemies? Enemies are cats, snakes, even human beings. So, they make their nest in safe places where their enemies cannot reach. Birds use leaves, twigs, straws, thread, cotton, wood, etc. to build their nests. Now we will talk about different birds. How do they make their nests? First we will talk about the tailor bird. A tailor bird uses its beak like a needle and sews the leaves to build its nest. Children, it uses grass, thread or wool. To sew the leaves. You can see in the picture a tailor bird is using its beak like a needle and sewing two leaves together to make its nest. It is so nice, isn't it? Now we will talk about the weaver bird. As you can see in the picture, children, the weaver bird weaves, leaves, grass or twigs using its beak to build a nest. The nest has an opening at the lower end through which the bird enters. See, they are so clever, the birds, and they are so expert in making their nest. The nest is made so neatly and they are real artists. Yes, we can say that. We will talk about vultures and eagles. Vultures use sticks and twigs to make its nest on high trees. The nest looks like a shallow cup. And the owl, it makes its nest in the hollow of trees using feathers and grass. And children, you know, the woodpecker uses its pointed and chisel shaped beak to make a big hole in tree trunk. When you sleep in the afternoon, you can hear that pecking noise of the woodpecker. It pecks during that time. It goes on pecking on the tree trunk and make a big hole in the tree trunk. This hole is used as its nest. Penguins are found in very cold places and they made their nest on the ground using stones and pebbles. See the little penguins with the mother penguin. They are so cute. Aren't they? Yes. Next, we will learn about the sparrows and bulbuls and hummingbirds. These birds use grass, leaves, straws and cotton fibers to make their nest. They make cup-shaped nest. They make their nest in houses, on trees or any other safe places. Sometimes you can see their nests inside your room upon the windows and sometimes on the fans also. 
they make their nest on some safe places and children do you know koyals cuckoos they are very clever birds but they are very very lazy they never make a nest they lay eggs in the nest of crows and the mother crow thinks the eggs as her own and looks after them when the egg hatches the babies come out and they fly away such a clever bird the cuckoo is isn't it now we will talk about bird bath and how to take care for animals children we know that like other animals birds also need water they face lots of difficulty in hot summer when there is a shortage of water we can help them by keeping a bird bath in an open area around our houses or gardens what is a bird bath a bird bath is a small is a small shallow container filled with water birds drink water and take a bath to cool themselves in these bird bath we can also keep trays containing seeds in open to feed the birds these trays are called bird feeders we should also take care of our pets how can we take care of them we should feed them regularly we should clean and bathe them regularly whenever they fall sick we should take them to veterinary doctor a veterinary doctor is a doctor who looks after the sick animals we should be kind to all the animals now children we have come to the end part of our chapter we will know about some special features of birds ostrich is the largest bird and it lays the largest eggs ostrich penguin and emu cannot fly you know they are the flightless birds parrots can imitate human voice and talk like human have you ever seen a parrot talking like you you can try talking with them owls cannot turn around their eyes they move their heads completely around to see straight behind them it's so amazing isn't it and we all know that peacock is a national bird it's the national bird of india and one more amazing thing hummingbird is the smallest bird you all know but you should also know that hummingbird can fly backwards children we have come to the end of the chapter we have learned about the wings of the birds and how do the birds fly you saw the movements of the wings the up stroke the down stroke and you have seen where do the birds live and how do they make their nests you have seen about the bird bath and the bird feeder and how to take care of our pets you have learned about the veterinary doctor you know who is a veterinary doctor a veterinary doctor is a doctor who treats a sick animal 
Now children, please go through the complete chapter and understand it very nicely. Have a nice time. Stay at home. Be safe. Thank you children.